Hello there guys and welcome back. Seventh part of the <coughs> Beyond Two Souls. Oh my god. It's a good game. Really good game. Um, last episodes we've been in some kind of uh, laboratorium or laboratory. Messed up things happened. We've been chased by the police and the SWAT team. We've been escaped it all and now we're gonna continue uh, last time I played uh, we were on the countryside get a lift for some truck drivers but nobody stops People are so 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 uh, so not nice, you know. I pay you five dollar. <laughs> Countryside reminds me of where I live at the moment. Can I live on the countryside here in Sweden? So calm and nice. Or is it? Not dark, but still. I'm totally exhausted and thirsty, and I have no clue where we fucking are, so just play nice and give me a break, okay? So we're walking this road. It's a hot day, I guess. Nope. Doesn't stop. about this one Everything's going to be okay. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm thirst, and everything's fucked, but it's gonna be okay. Leave me alone, Aiden. What?
there. I'm not gonna hurt you. Stupid dog. Give me the water. Hey, I'm so sorry to disturb you. I I'm just looking for some place to spend the night and and I was hoping that... You can't stay here. Sorry. Please. It's gonna be really cold tonight. No. I, I have nowhere else to go and I promise I will be gone by morning. I told you you can't stay here. You need to leave now. Speak English, damn it. Ah, do a bendago no do. It's okay. You can stay here tonight. Come in. What's your name? I'm Jody. I'm Paul. These are my sons, Corey and Jay. My mother. Masani, don't be surprised if she doesn't answer you. She hasn't spoken in years. We're about to have dinner. Would you like to eat with us? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Damn, he's like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> See many hitchhikers out here. Can I ask where you're headed? I just keep moving from day to day. I guess if I keep going long enough, I'll figure out where I'm headed. I see. This is the uh, first ranch that I've seen in, in miles. Mm. There used to be more of us. Many have left for the city. It's a hard life out here. Do you breed horses? Yeah. Mustangs. We also have a bunch of churros. Churros? Sheep. Oh. We sell their wool and milk. It's not much, but it keeps us alive. You guys are, um, Navajo, right? We're Diné. That means the people in Navajo. That's what we call ourselves. coming you 
stay in your room. No matter what you hear. What I hear? What do you mean? You value your life? Lock your door and don't come out until the morning. Very strange place. Don't worry. Tomorrow will be a long way from here. Good night, Ida. Dog. What are you doing here? I told you to stay in your room. What the hell was that? Go back to bed. You can leave in the morning.
You looked exhausted. I told the boys to let you sleep. Thanks. I, I really needed it. Made some coffee. done on the farm. Maybe you'd like to stay on for a few days, lend a helping hand. Couldn't pay you anything, but uh, you have a roof, food on the table. What do you think? Old style. I like it. Yeah. some more clothes in Corey's room. See you outside? Ready for work? I'm ready when you are. The sheep need water. Think you can handle that? Sure. What's so hard about getting some water? Sweaty, <laughs> come on, huh? Jody, you weak. So, you're gonna stay well? It looks that way. Great. I mean, it's good to have some help. Thanks, Jody. Can you get some hay from the barn? Just like you did in the army or the CA. Run! <laughs> okay, so I'm getting up there, I guess. Help me, Aiden. Goddamn haystack. Hey, chill. I helped you, you ungrateful bitch. <laughs> you sure you can carry that? So, where do you want this? Hey, Jody! Bunch? Okay, l let me just finish this first. Let's give us something to the goat. Over the lunch? Oh, come on now. Uh. Look at her. Free and weak. Man, Jody. Put it down anywhere. Thanks, Jody. 
It's lunchtime. Go and join the boys if you're hungry. You coming? Later. I still have work to do. Okay, later then. Have a seat. Thanks. Are there other Navajo ranches around here? There used to be about 50 some years back, but now there's just us. The others got scared off. The others decided to go live in the city. Not everyone wants to live in the desert. There's a lot of work to do on the ranch. Yeah. Jay takes care of the horses. I wash the churros, and my father does just about everything else. I saw the dead sheep. What happened to them? Storm. They wander out of the pen and choke to death on the sand. When I opened the door last night, I saw something. Pretty sure someone was outside. I don't know what you're talking about. It's probably a dream. Probably a dream. So many questions. Because I'm curious. Understand something? Yeah. Yeah. How about if I started asking you questions? Where you come from, what you're doing here. You probably wouldn't like it, huh? So keep your secrets to yourself. And don't ask any more questions. You'll excuse me, I got work to do. Eh, nah, don't mind him, Jody. He's okay when you get to know him. I'll bet. I guess I'd better get back to it or Paul will get mad. <laughs> See you later. Well done, Jody. Trying to get contact with Grandma. Hey, anything else need doing, Paul? No, but maybe the boys could use some help. Okay, I'll check. Jay's doing. Proud and stubborn. Never wants to go in with the others. Do you mind if I try? You worked with horses before? 
No. <laughs> Go right ahead. His name's Ashki. Hey there, Ashki. Don't be afraid. I'm just gonna come over there, okay? See, Ashki? That's not so bad, is it? Admit it. You kinda like me, huh? <laughs> hey, Aiden. Ever dreamed of riding a horse? Take him to the enclosure. How'd you do that? We all have our secrets, right? Maybe I misjudged you. want to take a shower. It's behind the bar. Ladies first. It's fine by me. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here, um, begin on part 8, as soon as I made a few calls and such.